Hello, this is Lisa Belserick from IMTS 2018. I'm here with Gary Kuzman of All Access Robotics, and he's going to tell us about the new cobot they're introducing that is for machine tending and for bird detection inspection. Tell us about it, Gary. Well, thank you. These robots over here are really interesting in the fact that they are, for a lot of machine shops over there that are legacy equipment out there that they need to automate. What we've done is, is made this in a turnkey type situation where they just call us up and we would come in, interface with their controllers and set up the machine tending. So who is this cobot for? This is for any type of metal fabrication, any type of fabricator in general, whether it's sheet metal, whether it's CNC, whether it's plastics, it will function on all levels. How does this cobot fit into the broader industry of smart manufacturing? There's many ways it fits into the smart manufacturing. First, with the automatic bird detection and defect detection, this fits into an area where in smart manufacturing, you're eliminating the fatigue from an operator who is doing inspection all day long. With this, we have higher accuracy in, in any QC department, whether it's an outgoing QC department of the manufacturer or the inbound QC department of the end customer. So there we've automated the entire smarts of the inspection process. Can you give me some examples of applications for this cobot? Yeah, in this particular application, if you're cutting metal, there's always little fine burrs that are left over. And the burrs that are left over have to be detected by the uh, operator and get removed before they're shipped out to the customer. If the burrs are there and they are shipped to the customer, they could fall off causing an electrical failure in the customer's end equipment. Another example is in welding. It will detect cracks. In another example, if you lay down a gasket, it has to be perfect and this will pick up uh, defects in the actual gasket material. So does this cobot of yours, does it further the manufacturing industry as a whole? Oh, absolutely, in two different ways. First, all the machines that have been bought for the last 20 or 30 years can now be automated with machine tending. And what it does is allow the manufacturer to go from a one shift operation to a three shift. More importantly, it allows access to a low volume, high mix operation where these robots can be switched over in a matter of just a half an hour and therefore, you know, they're able to take the advantage of these robots uh, in, in terms of manufacturing. So are these cobots meant to be put into a fixed application? Actually, the way that the robots are set up is they're actually meant to be portable throughout the entire company. The way that we achieve this, first thing, as a cobot itself, there's no fencing around this. The second thing that we do is we connect them up to another one of our products called a universal robotic controller. The universal robotic controller is permanently affixed to the controller of the machine that it's either tending or doing the inspection. From there, we have just a single ethernet wire that goes out to the robot that can be unplugged and moved to a different work cell. Now, the nice thing about the universal robotic controller is it allows every robot that's on the network to be detected by the, the internet network, the internal network of the company. That internal network then is then put, is put up on a dashboard where the management team can then take a look on the dashboard and look at the status of every one of the robots, whether it's running or not. The other thing that the universal robotic controller does, it allows any management team to actually take an iPad or any type of tablet out there onto the floor and take a look at the status of all the robots at any time and even control the robots. So from a smart manufacturing standpoint, this actually elevates any type of machine shop up into a digital network. So if someone wants to know more about your new cobot or your other products, where should they go? The best place to go is our website, allaccessrobotics.com. That's Gary Kuzman from All Access Robotics. This is Lisa Belserick from IMTS 2018.